time when I embarrassed myself in front of everybody. I was in sixth grade and I was doing my mile run. We would do our miles on the grass. It had just rained the day before. I'm running my mile and then all of a sudden I'm flat on my face. What was even more embarrassing is that I laid there. I stayed there. I just stayed there for like five minutes. I was so embarrassed and I had a crush for that period in gym and I don't even know why I just stayed there. Everybody was laughing at me. Maybe that's why I have a little bit of social anxiety because I embarrassed myself so bad. If you want to hear more of my embarrassing story times, give me a follow. You don't know embarrassment. You don't know it, okay? Because one time, my crush of years from high school wound up in my car with my mother. And I was supposed to be driving my friend home. And my friend was like, hey, can I bring Justin with me? Justin is a fake name for a very real guy who I had a very real crush on for a very, very long time. And I was like, yeah, we can give him a ride. Mommy, can we give him a ride? But she wasn't answering her phone. So I ran to the car before they could reach the car. And I was like, mom, he is going to be in the car in 0.2 seconds. Patriotic history lessons have gone into less detail about their country than I have about this man. And I need you to pretend like you have never heard a single thing about him. My friend and him get in the back seat of the car. I sit in the front seat and I look at my mom and you know when you have your, your like silent conversations with your parents with your eyes where for a single second you can understand what the other person's thinking that did not happen because she I looked at her and then she turned around and went oh Justin I've heard so much about you come now why would you say that I'm trying to calm myself down from bursting into flames and causing a vehicular accident I'm like you know what I've heard so much about you that's just very polite it's vague it's a platitude he probably knows that he's not gonna read too much into that he goes you've heard so much about me what have you heard <laughs> only person in the car who does not know that i like him is him and at this point i think even he knows my mom keeps it cool she keeps it cool under pressure she looks at him she goes i haven't heard anything about i've heard some things about you not a lot of things only good things about you <laughs> oh please we gotta move i'm not subtle either the odds of that man already knowing that i was in love with him were astoundingly high but still that song and dance did not need to happen one of the most embarrassing things I've ever done in my entire life. I'm in high school, I'm 16. I'm in Spanish class. I have a crush on this boy. The teacher says for extra credit, you could either sing a song in front of the entire class or you could draw a portrait of somebody. Mmm, yeah. I decide in my mind to draw a portrait of the boy I had a crush on. It was a homework assignment. You had until the end of the week to do it. <laughs> and when you got to class on Friday, you had to turn in your portrait. I tried so hard on this portrait friday rolls around i'm like damn i ate with this portrait i sit in class the people that chose to sing start singing in front of the class he calls them up one by one they finish they get their extra credit then he goes okay now everybody that drew a portrait i'm gonna call on you one by one each of you have to come up here show your portrait tell everybody who it is and why you drew them <laughs> When I tell you I was, I'm like, no way, no way, no way, no way. Before I even have a chance, I get called up first. Said crush did not know that I drew him. <laughs> I can't think quick enough. I can't lie on my feet that quick. I was too young. I was a fetus. I get up there and say, hello, class. I decided to draw my best friend XYZ, who is my crush. That was my crush. He was one of my best friends. He's looking at me like drew me the teacher goes why why did you draw him i'm so nervous i start babbling off i think he has a good facial structure <laughs> he's one of like my best friends haha <laughs> i try to make it seem like a joke all the while my crush is literally staring a hole through me mind you while i'm giving this presentation i have to hold the portrait up like this while i'm talking so imagine me standing in front of my spanish class drew a picture of my crush to say i was mortified my face was beaten red i finished my little presentation i turn it in i go sit down next to him because i sit down next to him and he turns around he goes you drew me i don't want to talk about it i don't want to talk about it do you ever have a memory pop up into your head into your membrane that just enrages your soul because i do i just remember this one time i was in middle school it was after school hours it was dismissal and I see my mom's car in the car rider line. So I'm like, okay, slay, I'm going home. I start walking to my mom's car and this teacher behind me goes, hey, what do you think you're doing? And I'm like, um, leaving. And she was like, I don't believe you. And I was like, don't believe me about what? I'm just walking. And she was like, I don't believe you that that's your mom. I was like, you don't think that's my mom waving to me about to pick me up? She was like, no, I don't, I don't think you should go in the car. And I was like, that is my mother. She's owned that car for nine years. What do you mean that's not my mom? And she literally went up to my mom and was like, are you his mom? And she was like, 
yeah and she was like fine by the way my mom was waving to me the next day i'm in the car rider line after school hours and i check my phone to check the time and she comes up to me and she just goes like this and i'm like why are you holding your hand out and she goes give me your phone I was like, that's not going to happen. Why do you want my phone? And she was like, because it is illegal, illegal to have your phone on school property. And I said, but it's past four o'clock. It's not school hours. And she goes, doesn't matter. You have your phone in this parking lot and that school grounds. Give me your phone. And I was like, that's not going to happen. My parents pay the phone bill. I don't know what you want from me, woman. Get away. She had a vendetta against me. I met Ariana Grande when I was cast in one of her music videos. So get ready with me for a Beyonce concert while I tell you about Ariana Grande. Now, do I have some tea? Yeah. So this was back in 2016. I got cast in her music video as the other girl. And I was basically cast as an extra for the role. I waited with the rest of the extras in a big warehouse. It was so cold. I think it was, I want to say it was December or November of 2016. So it was pretty cold, you guys. I've been an extra before on the set of the one of the Chipmunk movies in 2010. They had heaters for us in the tent that we were waiting for. And by us, I mean all of the extras. So there were no heaters. We were all freezing. And I think it was six hours before Ariana showed up. I took advantage and I just fell asleep and if you've done extra work before you know you show up to set ready to be there all day while we were all waiting in this cold cold warehouse Ariana came into the warehouse to approve the outfit the boy who was playing her boyfriend was wearing and when she came in there was an audible gasp like clearly some of the extras were Ariana fans if that was me walking into a warehouse full of all these young extras and you could hear them so excited about me coming in. She didn't say hello. She didn't say hello. She didn't say anything. It was just kind of like, you had us waiting there for six hours and the least you could do was say hello and acknowledge us and she didn't. But when I posted this story time all that time ago, people were like, she doesn't have to say hi to you or anybody else. But I think it's just common courtesy. She pulls out her phone and starts Snapchatting. I think we should be asked like, are you guys being okay on camera? This time she just pulled out her phone and started Snapchatting us and like us behind her. So she was like doing this and she wanted us to like get all hyped up. But then when she wasn't on her phone or presenting or showing us off and set, she wasn't talking to us. She wouldn't even look at us. I think she did at one point engage. But again, I think it's when she wanted to pull out her phone and film us. And if you are an Ariana Grande fan and you think she doesn't need to say hello to people on set, put yourself in the position of an extra who's getting paid, if you're lucky, $100 for the eight hours that you're there. And this is another thing. They had a box of mini bags of chips and bottled water. Usually when you get to set, even if you're an extra, they're always going to have crafty. I like to eat when I'm on set, especially before we go on set, because as an extra, you don't have the liberty to just say, hey, I'm hungry, can we stop filming? Or hey, I'm hungry, before we start to film, can I just like go get food? Sometimes they don't give you that freedom on set. And if you've never been an extra and you don't know what it's like, you have no right to judge or to be mean in the comments. I'm sorry, that's just not okay. Another thing that happened on the set was someone who was close to her during filming wanted to preach to her about Jesus. When this person tried to do that, Ariana went and complained to production and they told that person that if they didn't stop, they were gonna get kicked off that. <laughs> Maybe she is extremely shy and has problems feeling confident or comfortable in front of new people. Who knows? Like, what do I know? That's why it's important to share these type of stories.